of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, Our Lady of Mount Carmel is today's festivity, and we rejoice with all brothers and sisters of this order, and uh, with all brothers and sisters in the world that uh, cherish this same spirituality, the spirituality of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, wearing that precious scapula given by Our Lady. This, uh, the foundation of the Carmelite order that makes reference to this Mount Carmel in, uh, in the Holy Land in Palestine is very ancient. It goes back to the life of Elijah, the great prophet of Israel. Elijah used to go very often up on this uh, mountain, the Mount, Mount Carmel. Elijah one day was begging God for his people because Israel was struck by a terrible drought. There was no water and people were almost dying. Elijah on the Mount Carmel prayed, prayed for the people, for the sake of his people. And uh, suddenly he saw a little cloud arising from the sea and that was the sign that God heard his prayer. That little cloud brought water to the people, to the nation, and the nation was spared from that chastisement. That little cloud bringing water, giving water to the people was uh, seen by the tradition as a symbol of Our Lady, a symbol of her mediation of all graces. This is the first Marian uh, symbol attached to Mount Carmel. This is the reason why Mount Carmel has always been seen as uh, a mountain which, with a Marian characteristic. Uh, since 12th century, we find already some hermits living on this mountain, and hermits devoted to Our Lady, living a life of prayer to Our Blessed Mother, and being in a way, in a special way, consecrated to her. In the 13th century, an English saint, Saint Simon Stock, joined a group of hermits on this Mount Carmel during a crusade, and he spent a long time living on this same mountain. In 1247, Saint Simon Stock was elected the sixth superior general of the order of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Little by little, this uh, life, hermetical life, was uh, formed and uh, was shaped into a religious order. St. Simon Stock then became the sixth superior general during the general chapter which was held in Ellsford here in England. Some years later, 10 years later, precisely on this day, 16th July 1257, our Lady appeared to St. Simon Stock at Ellsford, and Our Lady presented to him the brown scapula, that uh, scapula which was a symbol of grace. And Our Lady told St. Simon Stock these words, this shall be the privilege for you and for all the Carmelites that anyone dying in this habit shall be saved. Our Lady presented to him that scapula, that the brown scapula that we know, 
and also she uh, gave to St. Simon Stock instruction for the, for the friars themselves to wear this uh, scapula as a symbol of Our Lady's presence and protection, as a pledge of eternal life. And since then, devotion to the brown scapula was spread. The Carmelite order cherished this uh, privilege, this uh, uh, scapula, and also many other people joined this devotion. Also, there is another important privilege, privilege attached to this brown scapula, According to Pope John XXII, Our Lady appeared to him, promising something even more special. This is the so-called Sabbatine privilege. Our Lady promised that whoever dies uh, wearing the scapula and uh, performing, of course, all devotions attached to the scapula, such as praying the rosary, living a good Christian life will be uh, uh, freed from purgatory the first Saturday after his her death. So we understand that the brown scapula and uh, this devotion to Our Lady is very powerful and very important. What is truly amazing in celebrating this feast is the contemplation of Our Lady under the title of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. That mountain so privileged in the Bible has become the very uh, symbol of Our Lady's presence in the Church, in our lives, Our Lady's mediation of all graces. And the brown scapula indeed is a great manifestation of this central role played by our mother, the role as mediatrix of all graces. And we have here the greatest grace, the grace to be saved, to be eternally saved. Our Lady today is encouraging us once again to discover the devotion to her through the practice of this special devotion, wearing her brown scapula. You might also know that in order to wear the brown scapula, you need a special enrollment in it, which can be uh, done by any priest, since this faculty has been extended by the Church to any Priest. We turn to Our Lady today on this beautiful feast. We ask our Blessed Mother Mary to give us always all graces necessary for our Christian life. And uh, as she promised us special protection and deliverance from purgatory after death, we wish to promise her to be faithful to her as, and to pray every day, especially to pray the most holy rosary, at least one rosary, uh, five decades, but if we can do more, it is even better to pray the rosary to live a good Christian life, a life of chastity, as Our Lady asked everyone according to his own status, a life of love for Jesus through her immaculate heart. May Our Lady of Mount Carmel deign herself to admit us uh, on this beautiful mountain, which is herself, her person. May Our Lady uh, give us this grace to permanently abide on this mountain with Elijah, with many other Carmelite saints who have loved Our Lady.
so that our faith may always uh, be alive so that we can have one day eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.